What we like to talk about is a common mistake we see made with, with uh, spring gates, uh, wire gates, anything where a gate handle is involved. A lot of times we see the, the construction of the gate to where when you hook the gate into the activator or a loop that's been tied in the wire, then that feeds the voltage on down through the rest of the fence line. The correct way to install a gate with an electric fence system would be to go under the gate with your underground cable so that when you disconnect the gate handle, power is still applied on down the line. Then what we'll do is we'll go in here and to our fence wire we'll make a jumper lead which comes back to this activator and that's what supplies the power to the gate. The reason that's important is now once I've unhooked the gate handle, my gate no longer is carrying electricity so I can lay it on the ground and it will not be popping. Um, if we happen to accidentally touch the gate, it's dead, so it's not going to shock us. And so that's just one way to eliminate common mistakes in gate installations.